The Denver metro area has been plagued with catalytic converter thefts for years. But one family has caught thieves in the act three different times, three different times. And this week, the thief was unfortunately successful. They reached out to contact number seven and told Rob Harris the message they want their neighbors and police to hear. Madeline Boatman has a collection going. This was from round one on the Hyundai. They left those behind. This was from round two on the Hyundai. These are all items left behind by thieves. During the multiple times this year, her family's been targeted for catalytic converter theft. We were vandalized on the Hyundai first on the 17th of February. They were able to cut through, but not completely remove the catalytic converter. In April, they came back in an attempt to re-steal it. At the end of May, this one was started, and then they came back to finish it two days ago. They were successful this time. This most recent time, Boatman caught the thief in the act, but not soon enough. I came out the door. I said, excuse me, what are you doing to my car? And he got into his white Subaru and sped off really fast. It had just rained the night before, so he had a plastic trash bag lying down to keep him fresh and clean. How nice of him. It's an especially bad time for Boatman and her husband to be down to one working car. They have a two-year-old daughter and a baby boy due this month. We need to be able to get both of them to their doctor's appointments. Newborns especially have a lot of checkups that they need to go to in the first few months of life. According to Aurora Police, 2,485 Coloradans had a catalytic converter stolen last year. That's an increase of 1,556 percent from 2019. Now that Boatman and her family are among this year's victims, they're going to have to sell their now non-working Jeep Liberty and pay for extra safeguards to keep their other car working. We're probably going to end up paying about $2,000 in preventative measures for this one just so that we can keep this one in running measures. Boatman says she feels stuck and vulnerable. And as these crimes keep climbing, she wants to see police be more proactive. Above all, she's sharing her story to warn her neighbors. Well, we definitely know that they're in our community. We definitely know that we're being targeted. I think that they are feeling quite emboldened by the system and how it works. Even if we had a security camera put up here, I don't think that they'd change their behavior. In Aurora, Rob Harris, Denver 7. This isn't just a problem in Aurora. Just to give you some perspective, here's a map showing all the catalytic converter thefts around the Denver metro area. The Denver 7 investigative team found there have been nearly 4,000 thefts in the past two years, and it doesn't take long to walk away with one either. A salvage yard employee demonstrated for us just how long it would take to steal one. We figured out that it would take 14.5 seconds. The Colorado